Happy Pi Day, everyone. I'm John Kaufman. I'm a math professor at Portland State. And here are three things I think you should know about pi. The first thing to know is what is pi? Pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. Now, because the circumference of a circle measures the distance around the perimeter, we use P or the Greek letter pi to abbreviate this quantity. Now, anyone looking at a circle can see that it's much farther to walk around a circle than it is to walk straight across. But how much farther? By walking around, you make it to the far side and back. So it's certainly more than two times as far. But in fact, it is more than three times as far. So how far is it exactly? The answer is pi. Pi is about 3.14, and it represents the ratio of the perimeter of a circle to its diameter. This number appears in many places throughout mathematics. And when written in decimal form, the digit expansion is non-terminating and non-repeating. Because it is not exactly equal to any ratio of whole numbers, it is called irrational. And because it is not exactly equal to the solution of any polynomial equation with whole number coefficients, it is called transcendental. So that's what pi is, but how many digits of pi do we really know? Mathematicians in antiquity knew the value of pi to about two or three decimal places. But using math and computers, we can do much better these days. Behind me, you see a table with 2,500 digits of pi. This kind of table can be found on the internet or in many books and is formatted so you can easily find any digit that you're looking for. There are 100 digits in each row, and each row is broken into blocks of 10. Groups of 10 rows are put together so you can see the first 1,000 digits, the second 1,000 digits, the next 500 digits, etc. On August 14th of 2021, a team at the University of Applied Sciences in Switzerland computed pi to 62.8 trillion digits. This was an improvement over the previous record of 50 trillion digits, which had been set about two years earlier. According to Guinness, the world record for memorizing digits of pi is 70,000 digits held by Rajvir Mina of India. It took him about nine and a half hours to recite this. That record has stood firm since 2015. And the third thing to know about pi comes from right here in Portland, Oregon. If you take the light rail train called Max to the Washington Park station, you'll see a lot of science things carved into the stone walls. For example, you'll see Pascal's triangle, a carving of a woolly mammoth, and even a double helix representing some DNA. But you'll also see an array of numbers which are apparently the first 106 digits of pi. But look closely, are they really? You see, instead of reading the digits of pi from across the first row of the table, the numbers of the max station are carved using the top left block of this array. This mistake means you will see the first 10 digits of pi followed by the 101st through 110th digits, etc. And when they had a little bit of room at the bottom of their carving, they went back up and used digits 11 through 16. So, okay, although the digits of pi at the max station are wrong, I hope they never change them. It makes a great place for people who know the secret to go and pose for silly pictures. Here are my son and me hamming it up for the camera several years ago. And below that, you can see how we recreated the same photo more than a decade later. Knowing the secrets of pi helps you enjoy the unique charm of Portland. So I hope you've enjoyed learning three fun facts about pi. But in honor of Pi Day, I feel like I owe you just a little bit more. So if you can really keep a secret, I will end this video by telling you the answer to a great mystery. I'm going to tell you the last digit of pi. In fact, after years and years of research, I have finally determined the answer. And the last digit of pi is 0.0001.